This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at protein synthesis. The information required to make proteins is passed from DNA to mRNA in a process called transcription. In transcription, a segment of DNA is copied into mRNA by the enzyme RNA polymerase. The first step in transcription is the unzipping of the DNA double helix by the enzyme RNA polymerase. In this process, the hydrogen bonds between the nitrogenous bases are broken. If we look at the base pairing, thymine in DNA pairs with adenine in mRNA, and adenine in DNA pairs with uracil in mRNA. The newly formed mRNA leaves the nucleus for the ribosome, where translation takes place. In translation, messenger RNA is decoded by a ribosome to produce a polypeptide chain. In translation, a triplet code is used with each sequence of three nucleotides or bases representing one amino acid. The triplet code allows for up to 64 permutations, which are known as codons. As we can see from this diagram, each codon consists of three nucleotides corresponding to a single amino acid. The 64 permutations represent the 20 naturally occurring amino acids. So let's look at an example. In this table, we have the DNA codon, the RNA codon, and the amino acid. If the DNA codon is AAA, then the RNA codon is UUU. Using this chart, we can see that this triplet code corresponds to the amino acid phenylalanine. If the DNA codon is AGA, the RNA codon is UCU. Once again, using this chart, we can see that this triplet code corresponds to the amino acid serine. And finally, if the DNA codon is CTT, the RNA codon is GAA. This triplet code corresponds to the amino acid glutamic acid.